folks, BC7 here, and welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time, thanks very much for stopping by. Got a new game to look at today. This is The Pirate Caribbean Hunt. Um, this is actually a free-to-play game from a company called Home Net Games. Huh, Net Games, that was quite a movie. Um, yeah, called from Home Net Games. And I say it is free-to-play because it, uh, Contains the dreaded microtransaction, but, well, nothing's really free. You're, if you want to play multiplayer, you must have a cloud storage account. Alright, but uh, we're not going to worry about that today, because... Uh, oh. Well, I kind of wanted to start a new game. Yeah, see, Super Sale? This is a microtransaction thing that will actually allow me to... Uh, buy kit for cash. Now, hmm, can I not start a new game? I was hoping I actually could. Oh, I don't want music, sorry. Hmm. Oh, isn't that nice? You can't actually read the bottom. Can I move this? Oh, I can't. Wow. Okay, I think this will... Yes. Last warning! Yes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Start game. And turn the music off, because I really don't want to get toasted by uh, copyright. Now, this is, it controls a little bit odd. You would think WASD, and you'd be absolutely right. But you see this symbol down here, the two sails? Well, S will actually make you come about, because it'll put the back sail up. W will start you moving forward if we raise both as you can see we start moving forward considerably quicker and then to stop you sort of do the same thing so it takes some getting used to and then you do have the effect of the wind that's what this blue arrow is here and obviously in the direction we're going and it's uh, pretty easy to deal with. So, let's drop our back sail. Let's drop our front sail. Oops. Okay. And, and you can see I didn't actually come to a stop quick enough. Let's get our front sail back up. Oh, that's not... <laughs> Apparently, I can't come about with that front sail up. Now, that red section, although I think it's really a little bit wide, of course, it may be the characteristics of this vessel as well, but you basically can't sail into that. You'll see the boat comes to pretty much a stop. Yeah. There we go. Let's pick that cargo up. There we go. Okay. We got them on board, Cap. A little wet, but no worse than when we were tossing them overboard last night. Hell, they fared better in that storm than our poor old Lilith did in the end. Guess we can return to have her fixed now, Captain. If you just take a look at the map, I've already marked the best route back to Maracaibo. Alrighty, so let's have a look at our map. As you can see, this is uh, what we've got so far. And if we click on Maracaibo, Spanish town, big port, cheap wares, or sugar, reputation, merchant, no docking fee. Nice. Distance 72 miles, experience plus two. Let's set sail. 
Here we are, Mar Cabo. Stinks just as bad as yesterday. I say we ought to get a little fix today. I'll return the boat, you go to the shop, and sell the cargo. Alright, so let's go to the cargo shop. We can sell our two bales of cotton. Ding ding! And eight bags of sugar. Common cargo in the Caribbean. Excellent. And, uh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, the money, Captain. It's time to repair our Lilith. The storm cracked her sides like a damn cannonball. Go to the shipyard and pay for repairs. So, to repair your ship, you click that little one up there. And as we go along, we can click repair. And it's going to tell us uh, two to say that, two to fix that, ten to fix that. So, yeah. I was hoping I could actually move the window, but apparently not. Price 50. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Should the price be 14? We have $60. We have 10 left. Okay, that's just weird. Why the heck did that cost me 50? Hmm. Yeah. Alright. Ready to sail. Pairs are done. See that green mark? That's where we ought to go. Well, alrighty. Uh, I don't see the green mark on the map yet, but I'll get there, buddy. Okay. So, this is where they want us to go. Good coin to buy. The location of the crashed Spanish treasure ship from old Juan Garatam. If he's right, we'll be rich men soon. We need to hurry to get back to the wreck before anybody else finds out about it. Distance, 163 miles. Travel time, one day, eight hours. And experience plus five. Let's set sail. Alrighty. We're here, Captain. Look, there there's the ah oh, damn their eyes. The water is full of gunpowder barrels. We can hit any of them. Oh, we can't hit any of them, or we'll get blown up. Something's floating between the barrels. It's our treasure. We need to fish the crates out very carefully. Indeed. So the wind coming that way, we're alright, I think. Full sails ahead. Ooh, look how close that one is, man. It's like right there beside our goodies. Hmm. The first time I tried this, the wind was coming directly off the coast. Man, it was hard to get to this. All right. Both sails. No, come on. Why don't you stop? Alright. Yeah, I don't... Yeah. It's really, really takes some getting used to. And I've sailed lots of vessels in my time, but this is... Because when you drop both sails, you should come to a freaking stop. Or at least you should start to, but unfortunately it... Sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't drop them at exactly the same time. And, like, I've got both sails down now. Yeah, I don't really like this system. Or maybe I will once I get a little more used to it. See that stop mode? Makes sense. Turning from the wind. This should ease me forward just enough. See, that's supposed to be a stop. Ooh, what's this? Unfortunately, it's got no mouse over. Men aren't happy, though. They say we spent a week battling storms and a cargo ain't worth much. That's a damn cutter's load at best. Definitely not a treasure ship's. Think we need to have a serious talk with that pig guardum. Let's sail to Maracaibo and get prepared. Alrighty. So, back to here. 
and let's sail back to Maracaibo. All right. Stop by a shop and get 50 Kangen balls. All righty. Well, the first thing we want to do, though, is likely sell our cargo. See, I wish it would tell you what this stuff is. It says there. Oh, gunpowder. Okay, well, I'm going to sell it because I don't have that particular skill. Rum, arg. Let's sell that. And planks. Oh, repair the ship hull during battle. Oh, five hull points. Oh, required skill axeman. All right, we don't have any skills at the moment. <laughs> so they want us to buy some cannonballs, eh? 50 of them, isn't that what he asked for? 125? No thanks, man. That's a bit much, dude. Oh. Sure. Let's buy that. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's more. Oh, this is the real. I see. That's where he's holed up in his base. I'll mark it on the map with a red skull. All right, there he is. Wreck Spanish treasure ship. You spent gold and time only to find garbage. Time to ask him for an explanation. All right. Said he, is he sailing to hail us? Or he's cannon ports. He wants to sink us before we're ready. Okay. So... Ready the cannons. Okay, that I'm not... Oh, I see. Uh oh. Okay, and where is he? I assume that red mark is him. Oh, yeah. So, let's come about. And how does one fire... X? Oh no. Oh, that didn't work. What the heck? Well, it'd be awful nice if they actually told us how they fire. I see. Okay. This is really not where I want to be. Keep getting broadsided, but he's got really good turning. Oof. some pretty good damage to us too though I should have thought about this a little better you want to actually stay uh, so that you're not broadsides like I should actually come well past him and then try and be either on his bowery there we go Okay, we should be able to, uh, uh, just, how do you shut it off completely? Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's see what he's got for goodies, shall we? Inside the ring, good. Full stop. And what did we get? Some of this, some of this. No bloody much. Took a lot of cannonball too. Alright. So. Oh, what do they want here? K. 
Cabo. Oh, your harbor. Huh. Okay, let's head there. Here's our new home, Captain. Damn nice settlement, complete with a warehouse. Check inside and take all the cargo. Arr. Is that the warehouse there? Uh, let's have a look. Oh, that's our stock. Oh, you have to construct a shop. Ooh, alrighty. Sailmaker, a farm, a warehouse. Okay. Distillery. Wow. So I take it this is our warehouse, eh? But how do we uh, access it? Ah, okay. So let's... Minus five. All right, let's complete the repairs. Certainly. And what do we got here? Ooh, nice. Yes, I'll have them all, please. And... All right. Or did they want us to actually take everything out of the warehouse? I think they did, didn't they? Oh, okay. All right. Now we can earn more selling our goods where they're more expensive. Let's sail to one of the new towns and sell something. Hmm. All right, but uh, I think that's going to be our first look. Not a super long episode, but it gives us a bit of an idea. Um, and I think before I play more, I'm going to practice the sailing a little better. It's, it's it gets a little bit confusing because you don't uh, actually control forward motion with anything other than the sail. So oh, well, it takes me getting used to. Ooh, look at how shiny our cannons are. Oh, we can get right down here. Look at that. Ho oh, oh. ho. It goes in first person. That's really slick. I did not know that. Can I? No, I can't actually steer the boat from here. I can look around a little bit. Cool. All right. There you go, guys. That's been our first look. And uh, really hope you did enjoy. If you did, remember to hit that like button. And uh, feel free to share or subscribe. All that YouTube-y stuff. Till next time, though, this has been Species 7. Take care of each other, folks, and ciao for now.